Are there food sources of PQQ and, and can we get what our body needs through food or do we still need maybe to supplement? You know, there are food sources. Okay. Believe it or not, one of the greatest sources, one of the greatest sources of PQQ is human breast milk. Hmm. We can find it in beets, potatoes, and, and some, of the, some of the vegetables out there. But again, this is another one of those um, ingredients, nutrients, I shouldn't say ingredients, nutrients, that our food supply is so deficient mm. in vitamins, minerals, nutrients. It is so deficient. Example, a pound of spinach today has, has uh, 40 to 60 percent less of the nutritive value than it did a couple of decades ago. Why? Mm. Because of all the processing, because of all of the, all of the things that, that we don't do that we did many years ago. The, the, the density, the nutrient density is extremely low. So just like anything else, you're not going to get the required amounts, if you will, through, through the food. And this is why supplementation is important. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit more about the supplementation then. What kind of doses are we talking about if we go the supplement route of, with PQQ? 20 milligrams. Okay. I think 20 milligrams once a day is, 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 is an appropriate dose. Okay. How about the safety of the product and, and talk about some testing that has been done and those results? That's one of the first things that we have to deal with. You know, it, this is not one of those ingredients. This is not a stimulant. This is not something that's going to affect your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. This is not going to something that's going to affect your blood sugar. Uh, it, 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 it's not one of those stimulant type ingredients or nutrients. So safety data, human safety data, all right, mm -hmm. and this is, there have been rat, there's rat data and there's human safety data is extremely safe even in very high doses. Okay. But I tell my patients and I tell everybody this, the reason we print directions on the bottle is so that you follow the directions. You don't make stuff up. Mm -hmm. We've written the directions, follow the directions, period, end of story.